and that was the first time and, and we didn't know the reaction from from the English people how they're gonna be you know me painting like Argentinian stuff or night scenes and really dark kind of colors and you know really unusual for what the people the public was used to see they they, they were showing a lot of different artists and I was one of them and suddenly we got there probably 10 minutes before the people from the gallery started coming in and suddenly with Lucy we started looking at the pieces and we saw a, a red dot and actually you know I told, I told Lucy, oh look at that, that's salt. And suddenly we look around, oh that one is also salt, oh that one is salt too, oh that one also. So were like, uh, they were like a 12 original paintings and they were, the 12 of them that were sold before the show started. <laughs> Through his eyes, these experiences through his lifetime. Fantastic. That's so vibrant in his work. Wonderful pieces. He captures a certain um, sexiness of a, a woman and it just looks true. I think the way he like draws his um, people, I think, is excellent. <laughs> We have a picture of Perez, or Perez's work, uh, in nearly, nearly every room in our house. <laughs> there we go. Together again. Yep. There she is. <laughs> Somebody's here. Go to the studio? But after you know so many years going to England, I, I, I figured out I need to do something. And uh, it's almost like a tribute to them because I've been coming here for 10 years, having so many great experience. I think it's time for me to, to take like, really an English model. Vivo soñando dentro de un lugar donde la palabra sabe a miel y a rosa y a melodía. It's my first English model. I'm a, I paint portraits, I paint the, the physical to portray the soul. The body is a tool for me, you know, for, you know, to express what is inside, exactly, you know, the, the, the most important part of us, you know, the driver of us. So, and, you know, after so many years going back and forth and doing shows to England, I, I met Sally and she got a really special look. I think it's a, um, you know, a special look for me to paint. It's like, she got eyes like a really focused eye, but at the same time really, um, uh, really gentle. And it has a nostalgic touch also in, in, in the way that she looked. Her body language is like a little bit like a, a lazy cut. You know, she moves really slowly and, you know, really, um, you know, really cool. And I thought, you know, that that was exactly what I'm looking for. You like me right here. See, see. The doors in the middle. <laughs> it looks like she took a break. Like, it looks like she was posing for me. And after she took a break and go just, you know, to get some air and everything. And actually that's the painting. <laughs> Yeah, I even miss England. When I, <laughs> sometimes I see, I watch TV or I see a movie or something, and I see places I have been around and there, and and I and I, I feel a little some nostalgia about it. And uh, yeah, it came like a like a second home almost. Welcome. 
the man all the way from LA, Mr. Fabian Perez. And I just love the way he portrays the ladies. The South American style, fabulous. His story is, is uh, something that I admire. Um, I don't glorify it because it's obviously something that wasn't great for him. He came from a time of adversity, but he flipped that adversity into something that was successful. And that is something I love about people in general. And that's something I love about his paintings because that's what they represent. Well, my father was a, a character that, you know, I, I remember getting into his room and he was, you know, all these huge uh, closets full of different uh, suits, all different colors, like colored hats, you know, ties and shoes and shirts and everything was, you know, uh, beautiful and first class and, you know, really glamorous. And, and my mother was the same thing. She was really, you know, uh, she was a singer also and she was making her own clothes, and she was uh, a talented for everything, really artistic. It's what I see normally in England, that you know, people is really classy, is really, you know, uh, had really good manners, and you know, really polite, and, and really also caring about the other people too. And you, can, you can see how they talk and how they move, and they're really altruist also. And I think those are uh, amazing values, that, that, that makes part of the beauty that, I, I, that inspired me, actually. Well, my world is like, a, it's a reality, but it's, it's a fantasy for many. Uh, the fact that I'm a painter, the fact that I make a living as an artist, the fact that, you know, I get a canvas in, in a few colors and I spend 10 bucks and suddenly they sell for thousands, is like almost being an alchemist. And that, that's a fairy tale for many people, but it's a reality for me. It's as real as many other reality. It's as real as the people who, who goes to work every day. You know, and because it doesn't happen really often, doesn't mean it's not real. That's real life too. This is my real life. You know, that's my world. And I'm so grateful for it. You know, I'm really grateful I, and I'm grateful every day about, about what I do. Y cuando ronco te rita, llegaste al baño de pol.